Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds. So children, before we move ahead with our discussion, we should know that a compound made up of hydrogen and carbon only is called hydrocarbon and these hydrocarbons are of two types which are saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Children, first of all we will discuss about saturated hydrocarbons and they are also called as alkanes. A hydrocarbon in which carbon atoms are connected only by single bond are called as saturated hydrocarbon. It is also called alkane. Thus, the hydrocarbons methane, ethane, propane and butane are alkanes. The names of all these saturated hydrocarbons end with ane. The general formula of saturated hydrocarbons or alkanes is CnH2n plus 2 where n is the number of carbon atoms. Let's discuss saturated hydrocarbons with the help of examples. 1. If an alkane has one carbon atom in its molecule, when n equal to 1 and its molecular formula according to the general formula becomes CH4 which we call methane. 2. Similarly, if we take n equal to 2, we get ethane. These saturated hydrocarbons are normally not very reactive, that is, they are quite unreactive. A hydrocarbon in which the two carbon atoms are connected by a double bond or a triple bond is called an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Ethene and ethine are two important hydrocarbons because ethene contains double bond and ethine forms a triple bond. A double bond is formed by sharing two pairs of electrons between the two carbon atoms whereas a triple bond is formed by the sharing of three pairs of electrons between two carbon atoms. The unsaturated hydrocarbons are obtained mostly from petroleum by the process called cracking. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are of two types. One, double bonded hydrocarbons, also called alkenes. Two, triple bonded hydrocarbons, also called alkynes. We will now discuss each in detail. An unsaturated hydrocarbon in which the two carbon atoms are connected by a double bond is called an alkene. So, these alkenes contain a double bond between two carbon atoms which is formed by the sharing of two pairs of electrons ethene C2H4 and propene C3H6 are the two alkenes. Why? Because they contain double bond between the two carbon atoms. There is also an interesting fact. Do you know children? that there can be no alkene having only one carbon atom? The general formula of an alkene is CnH2n where n is the number of carbon atoms in its molecule. Let's take an example. 1. If an alkene has two carbon atoms in its molecule, then n is equal to 2 and its molecular formula will be C2H4. 2. Similarly, when n is equal to 3, 
we will get propene. The simplest alkene is ethene and its common name is ethylene. Let us now discuss about the alkynes. These are unsaturated hydrocarbons in which the two carbon atoms are connected by triple bonds. So, the alkynes contain a triple bond between carbon atoms which is formed by the sharing of three pairs of electrons. Ethyne and propyne are alkynes because they contain a triple bond between two carbon atoms. Also, another amazing fact is that there can be no alkyne having only one carbon atom. The general formula of alkynes is Cn H2n minus 2, where n is the number of carbon atoms in one molecule of alkyne. Let us discuss this with the help of examples. 1. If an alkyne has two carbon atoms in its molecule, then n is equal to 2. Its formula will be C2H2, which is ethyne. 2. Similarly, if we take n equal to 3, we will get propyne. The simplest alkyne is ethyne. With formula C2H2, its common name is acetylene. Also children, you should know that the unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive as compared to saturated hydrocarbons. In other words, Alkenes and alkynes are more reactive than alkanes. The alkane having two carbons is called ethane. The alkene having two carbons is called ethene. And the alkyne having two carbon atoms is ethyne. All these compounds are covalent molecules which are formed by the sharing of electrons between various atoms.